Okay, we're on the GoPro today. Charged it up, so we should be right for five minutes. And I brought some spare batteries. As, as you have to do with GoPros. It's the old Hero 7. And um, yeah, what I'm doing today is putting some slug pellets on some wheat and barley. It's Thursday the 28th of October, if you're wondering what the date was. And the reason why I'm not using my normal camera, uh, that my DJI, DJI Osmo Action, which I really like, and is much better than GoPro, um, is because somebody stole it yesterday. Basically, we were out crop walking. I had the, I had the, um, the van, the work van, and the agronomist had her car, and we parked. We parked in the gateway to some fields. If you go back and look at the Cochlin demo video, you'll um, you'll see where the agronomist was parked in that gateway, and that's where we were parked. And so we went out in the fields. We were there about half an hour. Um, walked on the barley, probably about three quarters of an hour, maybe. And yeah, come back, and the window was smashed on the van, and the window was smashed on on the car, and they had taken our stuff. I do feel pretty stupid for leaving my bag in the front of the van. It was locked, um, but yeah, basically it stole my rucksack, which had my camera and my wallet in it, so, and some headphones. So I'm pretty cheesed off about that to be honest. Well, I'm annoyed with myself for leaving it in the front of the van, and I'm annoyed with them for stealing it. As you can see, I've been doing some rock picking as well, look. Picked up a few rocks. It looks like the lens is dirty on this camera. I think it's on the inside. So yeah, that's why I'm using this uh, GoPro, is because somebody stole my DJI. I did have a quick drive around the roads to see if they sort of like took the camera out the bag and, and, threw, and threw the bag out the window, but, because it had a load of my keys in it as well, which was very annoying. Um, but no. So right, what we're doing today is putting on slug pellets. You see, here look, we're putting on five kilos to the hectare. And basically we're getting on this winter wheat that was drilled a couple of weeks ago. It's only just come up in the last day or two. We're getting quite a lot of slug damage. More so on the barley. I've got to do the barley as well at farm one and three. We've got no slug damage at farm two because everything there was rolled. I'm trying to find one that's been snipped off. What, what they're doing on quite a lot of the plants is just eat, chewing them off as soon as they sort of chewing the tops off of them when they're coming through the ground. If you look out across the field, it's still quite patchy, sort of uneven. Uh, the crop's a bit uneven coming up at the moment, but it's coming. We'll probably roll this in the spring. And what we're using is um, slux, which is ferrous. Yeah, the main ingredient is ferric phosphate right there, look. They don't, I'm pretty sure uh, the old metaldehyde is probably banned now. I can't remember. I'm not so much annoyed about the value of what was stolen, it was just, I didn't have any cash in my wallet or anything like that and I've cancelled my debit cards. Got to get a new driving licence. It's probably chucked in a hedge somewhere. I did drive down the road to to see if I could see any of it chucked in the hedge, but no such luck. So what we've got going on in here is the, these are the controls for the, the spinners on, on for left and right and then it opens the shutter at the bottom they speed up the they speed up the rotors the rotors the spinners the discs so it'll, it'll throw it further and closer sort of thing and that's the screen out of the combine the 2630 screen because as I've been going around I've been doing some field mapping boundary mapping I've got me 6000 receiver on the roof also I fitted these LED lights earlier on in the week that's to uh, to help the livestock guys through the winter, I guess. Uh, I did actually get some of that on video, but it was on the on the camera that got stolen. Along with, I changed the drive belt on this gator. That was on that that was on that camera.
and stick, picking up a few uh, stones and rocks as we've been going around, just in case this doesn't get rolled in the spring. We're on the barley now. Looks pretty good in the sunshine. It is a little bit windy out here, but uh, it still seems to be spreading it quite well. These are the discs that spin around and spin out the pellets. One on each side, look. Right, it's Friday today. I don't know how well you can hear me because I'm in the noisy gator. And I've got my headphones on. Um, I'm up at farm too, just uh, doing some field mapping. Basically just driving around the edge of the field. And with using the GPS to draw a boundary line around all the fields. So we can get them all accurate. And I'm, I'm running with one wheel on the, on the crop so that I'm a bit further into the field. And away, because if I drive right on the edge of the field underneath the trees the GPS loses signal and then I have to start again so sort of just running one wheel on the crop and then that it stops us losing signal most of the time the crops looking really good I'm really pleased with it actually this is the winter wheat at farm two and uh, yeah the weaving drill has done a really nice job of it actually Finished the slug pelleting yesterday, so I took the spinners off. Makes the makes the gator a bit lighter. Um, we didn't need. To, I'm at farm too. We didn't need any slug pellets here. It definitely seems to help with the slugs. It prevents the slugs slug damage uh, when you roll the seed beds. This is where the van got broken into. It's parked right here. Emma's car was parked right here, and we were out in those fields. In the future, I shall definitely be opening the gate and parking the van in the field. Also, I won't be leaving my, um, my bag in the front seat either. Alright, so I finished my field mapping job, that's all done. I'm just going to take this screen back out. I'm going to take the screen to Hunts and get them to upload all those uh, bound, field boundaries onto the system. And I'm going to put the I'm going to put the dome back in the tract or on the tractor. These are the field boundaries that we've already got. Look, that's what they look like when they're on the uh, my Opera, John Deere My Operations app system. And basically, I've never properly mapped the fields before. If you see the line around the outside of the field, that's the boundary line, and that line has been put there automatically by the John Deere system on coverage. It's seen that I've worked in that field and coverage the whole field, and it's just drawn a boundary line round, right around the outside of it. So it's not very accurate. Um, you get sort of like all these little wiggly lines look. So now I've done it all nice and accurately, I'm going to take the screen down to Hunt's and um, they're going to sort it out. These are little grass fields, look, and you can see it's a right old jumble. So he's going to wipe, wipe all this off, a clean slate, and then upload the, the, the um, boundaries, what I've just recorded this, this week. If you look at this field, look, it's a bit of a funny shape. I don't know how that one's ended up like that, but it's a bit of a laugh anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, I know it's been a bit of a short one. As I've already told you, somebody stole the first half. Um, so yeah, I doubt we'll ever see that camera again. I should probably have a look on eBay actually, shouldn't I? It might be on eBay. Right, thanks for watching guys. I will see you, or you'll see me in the next video. Uh, yeah, bye for now.